Hey guys, the new Waypoint 2.0 is here. It's an intelligent flight mode that allows you to set complex flight paths with multiple waypoints and aim your camera at multiple subjects to get smooth cinematic shots. I'll show you quickly how to use it and fly a successful mission. Let's get started. All right, so before we plan and fly a mission, let's review some of the key features. You can set your flight path on the map with the drone turned on, either on the ground or in the air. Set waypoints to direct where the drone will fly to, including setting the altitude and speed at each waypoint. Set waypoint actions to start and stop video recording or take a photo at each waypoint. Set points of interest, which determines your camera direction at each waypoint save and name your missions and fly autonomously and complete the entire mission even when disconnected from your remote controller all right so let's go into the intelligent flight modes and here we have the waypoints mode we'll go ahead and touch on that and of course we have the map view there's the home point we'll zoom in and by default the waypoints is set first so we'll touch on the screen to set the first waypoint Set a second waypoint, switch to point of interest, touch on the screen, then touch on the waypoint, and by sliding your finger up and down, you could adjust the altitude. Touching on the point of interest, you could adjust the altitude just like you can with the waypoints. And we're going to link a waypoint to aim the camera at that point of interest. In this case, you have an option to select waypoint number one or waypoint number two. We'll select all. And now you'll see that both waypoint number one and waypoint number two are both aiming the camera at point of interest number one. Setting a second point of interest. Right about there. Switch back to waypoints. Set a third waypoint. Touch on it to set the point of interest to be number two. Setting a fourth waypoint, touching on it, selecting point of interest number two. And finally, waypoint number five, which should always be near the home point. Now on waypoint number four, we're gonna adjust the cruising speed you could reduce it down or you could increase it all the way up to 17.9 miles per hour. So when it reaches that point, it will start running at that speed. Now we'll save that flight mission. And we could also view the flight missions that are saved and rename them. We'll just name it Lake. Going through the route settings, which is very important. Route types, polyline means that it goes from one waypoint to another directly. Arc allows it to curve as it goes between waypoints. Task finish, four options. Best common option is to have it simply set to return to home. No RC signal action, four options. Continue task return to home, hover, and landing. Typically you'd want it to just continue the task so it will complete the entire mission as programmed. All waypoint directions, since we're setting custom waypoints with points of interest, that will be the default. Can't change it at this point. Cruising speed is shown on the screen. Okay, so we are all set. We'll start recording here. Hit go, gives you a summary to make sure everything looks fine. Looks good to me here. Hit start, uploads the flight mission to the drone, take off, and here we go. So what it's going to do is go straight up to the altitude of the first waypoint, waypoint number one, which is set at 164 feet.
once it reaches 164 feet, it will fly directly to waypoint number one. And once it reaches waypoint number one, it's going to point at point of interest number one. Heading to waypoint number two. Also decreasing in altitude as waypoint number two is set at an altitude of 101 feet. Now that it's reached waypoint number two, it will aim the camera to point of interest number two on its way to waypoint number three. You can see that it's increasing altitude as it was starting from 101 feet and now it's increasing to 164 feet. Okay, so as it continues to waypoint number four, the camera continues to aim at point of interest number two. Okay, so now it's reached waypoint number four, heading to waypoint number five, the last and final waypoint. And during the mission, you could press pause to pause the mission, and you could press go to continue the mission. You could also hit the X button to completely abort the mission altogether. You can also control the speed by using your right joystick by pulling it back It'll reverse in path, direction, releasing, will allow it to continue the regular path. You could also increase the speed as well by pushing the stick forward. All right, so we have reached the last waypoint, waypoint number five. And once it does that, it executes return to home. All right, guys, so that is it. There's a whole lot more that you could do with the waypoints flight mode, but with this video, that should help you to get off to a good start. If you found this video helpful, then please hit that like button. Got a lot more videos coming up, so go ahead and subscribe if you like. Thanks for watching, you guys. Happy flying. Bye.